it's more a philosophical question because there are and political I would say but um, I can uh, answer as a scientist so for science um, there are definitely limitations in what can be achieved with uh, the infrastructure and uh, that exists in Armenia but that can be also even though it's a drawback it can be also a blessing because it will force the development of alternative approaches to quite difficult questions and, uh, and potentially finding completely unorthodox and radically new solutions. And I think investment in, for example, computational infrastructure and analytical infrastructure, it can be extremely important for Armenia. What unites people is, the, is love, is family, is, uh, it's, and every one of us has family that is somehow connect, connecting each other. So we are one family. And, you know, I, I visit many countries. I travel around 75,000 miles a year around the world. And I can see that uh, how that sort of model Im is implemented in various countries. For example, in Israel, you come there and you feel like you're in the middle of a big family. <laughs> so it's the same for Armenia. But you don't have to be in Armenia to feel that. You can be in Boston. Or you can be in Glendale and California and it's the same thing. So there is some unspoken bond that holds people together. Even if we may, may not know each other, but we still are connected. And I think that is what is special.